Hello guys, welcome back. So in this lecture, we are going to talk about how can you navigate through a source file. And by the end of this lecture, you will have a clear understanding of what are some of the productive shortcuts that you can remember and use it in your day to day coding. So let's get started. So here in my PyCharm project, I have already opened a calculator.py file. Okay. And this file exists under calculator package. And this file has a source code to build a calculator and it uses a library called Kinto. It has two, three pages. Okay. And I think this will be a good file to demo the navigation. Okay. So let's say I am on this line and I want to go to the end of the line. So how do I go to the end of the line? So you can go to the end of the line by pressing command and right arrow on Mac machine. So I'll press this. And if you are on windows or Linux, you can press the end key on your keyboard. Now, if you want to navigate to the left, okay, to the beginning of the line, you can press command and left arrow again on Mac, or you can press home button on your windows or Linux keyboard. So this is how you can navigate to the end and the beginning of the line. Okay. So this is pretty helpful. The next shortcut that I wanted to discuss is how can you move your cursor one word at a time? So you can see if I press the right arrow or left arrow, it's moving one character at a time, but there is a way in which you can move your cursor one word at a time. So I can press option and arrow. Okay. So I'll press option arrow on Mac or control and arrow on windows or Linux machine to move one word at a time. So you can see it moved one word at a time. And if I want to navigate to the left, I can press option and left arrow key on Mac or control and left arrow key on windows. So you can see how it's navigating a single word at a time. So this is another productive shortcut that you should keep in mind. Now, this is a long file and I want to scroll through this file. So let's say I'm doing a code review and I want to navigate through this file. So one way is to scroll through this file this way, but you can also navigate through the file using your keyboard. So if you are on Mac, you can press function and down arrow to move one page at a time. And if you are on windows, you can press the page down button. And now if I have to go up, you need to press function and the up arrow to traverse one page at a time. And if you are on windows or Linux, you can press page up. So page up and page down on windows and Linux and function up arrow or down arrow. Okay. On Mac machine. So this is pretty helpful. Then let's say I am at the beginning of the file or somewhere here, and I want to go directly to the end of the file. So on Mac machine, I can press function command and right arrow to go to the end of the file. And on windows, you can press control plus end to go to the end of the file. Now, if I want to come to the beginning of the file, I can press function command and left arrow on Mac machine to come to the beginning of the file or on windows, I can press control and home. So these shortcuts help you so you can go to end and beginning. Okay. So these was some of the shortcuts that I wanted to talk about and demonstrate in this lecture. These shortcuts are very helpful. If you are coding using PyCharm, then it helps you a lot in navigating through the source code. So I hope you guys enjoyed this class and found it valuable. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.